Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. GoDaddy is one of the top providers of domain names and website hosting. A lot of my clients and prospects contact me and they're confused by all the options from GoDaddy or they don't even realize the services that they purchased uh, from GoDaddy. So I wanted to do a quick overview video of all the options that GoDaddy currently provides for websites and website hosting. So GoDaddy started off as a domain registrar where you can register a domain or a web address for your website. If you need help with finding a domain, purchasing one on GoDaddy, I actually did a separate video on that and I'll link to it. But since they have become one of the top domain sellers and people who buy domains need other services, over the years GoDaddy's branched out into other services like website hosting. And their homepage changes at any time, but it just so happens today I'm recording this video and they are focused on their website services that they offer. So it says need a website, we've got you covered. The first thing that they're offering here is called Go Central Website Builder. And this is a do-it-yourself website builder, so you could sign up for one of these packages. It says you can start for free, and then if we scroll down here, we should find the current pricing. Yeah, it goes from $6 to $20 a month, and then it's definitely gonna renew at a higher rate, so these are probably just uh, introductory. No, these are actually the prices after the free month, assuming you are billed annually. So this is a do-it-yourself website builder, like I said. Uh, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this because I did do another full review video on this. Um, but it's similar to other website builders like Weebly, Squarespace, Wix that are becoming very popular because it provides website hosting but also gives you software to easily create your website using a drag and drop interface that doesn't require you to know any website code like HTML. One of the other options that they offer is called the Go Central online store. So this is built on the same platform uh, as the website builder I just mentioned but it's an upgrade and allows you to sell products on your website on an e-commerce store. I did do a full video review on GoDaddy's online store option as well. That was about uh, a year, maybe two years ago. So I do need to do an update on that. But at the time, I thought the um, online store option was a pretty, pretty good solution for people wanting to sell online. It was very simple. I know they have expanded it since then with uh, like booking appointments for example there's an option to allow your visitors to book appointments online on your website they claim here that it's really mobile friendly so make sure to subscribe as I do plan on doing an updated video on GoDaddy online store so those two options from GoDaddy are part of the Go Central brand and again they're the website builder and the online store so they're do-it-yourself website builders with software built in to the hosting that you're that you're purchasing. If you're investigating website hosting, you've probably come across WordPress. It is one of the most popular, probably the most popular uh, website platform in the world. So GoDaddy is definitely uh, marketing at the uh, WordPress community. People looking to get a website with WordPress and they do that. Um, up here, if you click on WordPress, you can buy WordPress hosting. And they call this managed WordPress. So it's basically WordPress hosting that you could get other places, but their servers, they claim, are um, you know specifically designed for WordPress. WordPress will already be installed for you, so you won't need to install it. And then there's built-in uh, support for WordPress. And then I believe most of these plans have backups included. The pricing is pretty comparable to what you see with other popular web hosts like Bluehost or HostGator, for example, starts off as low as $4 a month. Looks like it's $9 a month when you renew on this basic plan and it goes all the way up to $14.99 a month, uh, renewing at $25 a month for five websites. I don't have any experience with their managed WordPress hosting in terms of support, but I have dealt with GoDaddy support on some other uh, website plans and found it to be not that great. They're responsive, but in terms of technical ability, it's been pretty low. And I, one experience I had, it was really tough to get a simple code added to the head tags of a client's website. It took like two weeks. So that was something I could have done in probably three minutes if I had access myself. So I'd love to hear from you guys if you've used managed WordPress from 
GoDaddy. Uh, let me know in the comments what the um, experience has been for you. How is the support? How is the hosting itself? A lot of my experience in the past with GoDaddy hosting has been that it's a little bit slow in many cases or variable. Sometimes the website's really fast. Sometimes it's slow. That can depend on the website itself, but a lot of times I've found the hosting itself to be very slow as well. But I'm sure that's changing all the time as they upgrade their hardware. So if you're considering managed WordPress hosting, you might want to check out other options like WP Engine. Might be a little bit more expensive, but it's definitely a better service, I would say. And many people would probably agree if you do some research online. I also offer WordPress hosting myself that is managed by me and my team. So you can get in touch with me if you're interested in a higher level of WordPress hosting and support. GoDaddy also offers standard hosting plan. So if I click on hosting and then web hosting, I should see their basic plans that are Windows or Linux hosting that you would get with another company like Bluehost or HostGator, where it's like cPanel hosting. Um, so if you sign up for something like this, keep in mind you're just getting web hosting. There's no um, do-it-yourself website builder installed. WordPress probably won't even be installed, but you can install it pretty easily with just a few clicks. So this is um, probably the cheapest hosting you can get from GoDaddy starting at $250 per month, and then it looks like it renews $8. Um, and then they have higher level plans that include more websites. Looks like better hardware. And then they also have business options where you have a virtual private server or dedicated server. So if you're looking at VPS servers or dedicated servers, I would recommend moving away from GoDaddy and looking at another company that specializes in that more. Um, I'm with a company called Liquid Web, uh, and there's many other companies that I think provide better hardware and service for the price. But if you want cheap hosting and you're already with GoDaddy, you know you could consider these uh, economy or deluxe accounts to get started with uh, website hosting. The last option that I'll mention that's currently promoted on their homepage is called their website design service. So they can actually build a website for you. I think this would be on a WordPress hosting platform. So you'd probably end up being on their managed WordPress platform, but they would quote you to build the website. So I don't see any pricing, but they do free consultations and then they'll quote you a price. If anyone has gone through this process, I'd love to hear uh, what your uh, experience was. What was the price? Were you satisfied with the design, the function of the website? I believe after it is created, you would then be managing it on your own. Again, you would be on the managed WordPress plan. So some of the uh, support would be taken care of. But in terms of maintaining your website, making updates, you'd be doing that on your own. But it looks like they can cover changes for you as well. Uh, but you would need to purchase those at an hourly rate. So that's my overview of the current offerings from GoDaddy for people who are looking to build and host a website. If you are in the market to build a website, you might want to check out my complete website package, which includes hosting and ongoing maintenance and personal service from me and my team. I'll link to that uh, in the description below the video. If you have any questions or comments about GoDaddy and their offerings, uh, feel free to comment below as well and I'll make sure to answer those. Check out some of my other videos on all kinds of topics having to do with websites, marketing, advertising. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. We'll see you on the next one.